How's it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another NHL 23 franchise rebuilding challenge. So we've got our final East team that didn't make playoffs last season. That's going to be the New York Islanders. So if you're enjoying the content, hit the like button, subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, let me know in the comments below for more video days. Go to social down description, playlist down for other NHL 23 franchise rebuilding content. Also check out my channel for content me TJP and also my second channel down below in the description as well with all my other socials. So same rules as apply when continue applying for these normal team rebuilds. Three C's and try to win a Stanley Cup. Injuries, morale on, all that fun stuff. And yeah, we're here to just have fun. These aren't meant to be realistic. It's a video game at the end of the day. With that being said, let's get on to the gameplay. All right, so let's take a look at the roster to start off. So we got Bar Matthew Barzal. He obviously is our uh, best player, so we're going to have him on. Team got Pulak. We got uh, Pilek. Uh, we've got uh, Dobson, Nelson, Lee, Bailey, Romanov. Uh, we've got uh, Paju. Uh, wait. Paju. Pajo, 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 Pajo. I gotta say, like, with the French accent, Pajo. There we go. Not Pajo, Pajo. Yeah, so Pajo. Uh, Beauvillier, Paris, uh, Palmieri, Mayfield, Wallstrom, uh, Sizikas, uh, Clutterbuck, Aho, Martin, uh, Soshnikov, Johnston, and that is about it. So, oh yeah, and our goalies, obviously. Let's take a look at those guys right now. Uh, Sorokin and then Varlamov. Pretty solid goalie rotation, I say. Um, yeah, sure, there's sure some moves we can make, definitely. But uh, let's take a look at the lines. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of uh, deal with it then. So uh, no chemistry on any of our lines. Uh, definitely want to improve our wingers. I think uh, my controller is not moving right now. Okay, there we go. Now it is. I don't know why those notifications pop up. They weren't doing that before. Now they are all of a sudden. Now I'll turn those off. Defensively, however, our first line's pretty got good with uh, Adam and Ryan. They're doing their thing. The APRP. And then our uh, lines down here are okay. But yeah, maybe we could try to get some more wingers for this team uh, on the left and right side. Our center seems to be okay. But yeah, I think we could try to get, you know somebody that can help us score some uh, goals put the puck that in the back of the net that'd be great so i'm gonna see what's out there in the market let's just take a look at our pitch situation usually islanders have, like don't do that great in the simulation but we're gonna find out right now if we can uh, make the make the playoffs in our first season i mean that'd be kind of cool if we can i mean talking about the picks uh we just don't have our third round our next year or this season uh, we have all of our picks after that though so yeah, a little, bit, a little bit limited on the draft capital. I mean, we've got some future picks, obviously, which you guys know I'm probably going to move. Because, again, we're only three seasons rebuild. We don't really need picks in 2028. Who the hell cares? The deal will be over by 2025. When we need the 2025 pick. So, uh, I'm going to try to make a couple moves. Let's see if we can try to get some wingers on this squad. Maybe another defenseman that might be a little bit better on the left side. I feel like you can do this deal with the Penguins to get uh, Kasperi Kapanen. So we could probably get uh, him for a fourth-round pick and Martin. Uh, will this get the job done? I think it will, and yeah. So we got Kasperi on the team. Welcome to the squad. Uh, we traded away Martin, so we got a uh, upgrade there at our way. All right, I'm gonna see if the Kings will do this deal for Trevor Moore, uh, Ledoux, and uh, Junkrantz uh, for a, well, just Trevor Moore. See if they'll get this job done. No, they won't. They might wanna have a pick. I mean, would a fifth rounder do it? I would hope so. I think that'll get the job done, and it does. So, fifth round pick there. So we get Trevor Moore, another forward. Kind of fits one of the bottom lines. But an improvement, a little bit more depth on that spot. I want to see if we can get maybe another left defenseman. And then I think I'm done making moves for now. I'm going to try to get uh, York from the Flyers. I'm going to throw in a couple picks here. Second and sixth rounder in 2020. Well, one of them was in 2025. The other one was in 2024. So, there we go. We now have Cam York on the team. So, I think that the team got a little bit improved, a little bit better. So we're going to see a bit, see how the team is uh, performing. Look at the stats around, uh, I don't know, call it end of January, unless a trade happens to pop up that we like. And yeah, if there is a trade that pops up, I'll show you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in January. All right, so we're at the uh, well, end of January, and we're sitting at 60 points right now, which is uh, pretty solid. Uh, the Rangers are up the top. Then we got the Hurricanes. We're tied with them. Uh, so we're right there. We're right there in the upper lunch. They got three less games than we do, though, so that'd be a little bit better than us. But yeah, 60 points. So far, not too bad of a season. Looks like we probably make the playoffs. Matt Bars will obviously do his thing out there. Not too surprising there. 29, 21, and 2. We'll take a look at the uh, player stats first, then the team stats, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, Anders Lee doing his thing out there. We got Brock Nelson, uh, Kyle Palmieri, Josh Bailey. Okay. 
Uh, Trevor Moore is scratched right now, but hopefully he'll be back by the time we start playing again. Uh, who the hell does he? Oh, yeah, Fletch. He's got the superstar flex, so good stuff there. Uh, Noah Dobson doing his thing out there. Uh, York. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, hits, block shots, giveaways, takeaways. The stuff that, you know, we love to look at, right? So we got two guys leading the way with at least 100 hits. Lee and Nelson. Then we got block shots. 68 for Romanov. Kulak's got uh, 66. Dobson, 63. 53 for Cam York. Uh, giveaways, we've got 50 for Mayfield. So he's leading the team there. You don't want to be leading the team in giveaways. We always say that. Takeaways, however, we got 44 for Barzo. So he's doing his thing. Then Bailey and Lee. How are our goalies looking? I feel like our goalies seem to be pretty solid, and they are. Sorokin doing his thing out there, and Varlamov as a backup has been excellent. So you love to see that. That is exactly what you want to see out of your goals. I mean, 3-5-1 is not a great record, but we're not really. It's just because we can't score. I mean, 2.12 goals against average is pretty good. So, And then 2.4 is obviously a great start. Our defense looks like it's been very good. So we might just need to uh, up our offensive production. Because we're at 2.87, but yeah, 2.46 probably... Probably uh, near the top of the league, I would say, in terms of uh, defensive production. Uh, we do a, I do see a 69 from the Rangers, by the way. I didn't forget that. So yeah, goals for per game, I'm assuming we are going to be kind of like bottom half of the league. And um, yeah, like 2.87, but defensively, third best. Only behind the Rangers and the Avalanche, who are, you know, a bit better than us. Uh, and then we're right there with the Hurricanes, too. The Hurricanes are... Not too far behind us. They have 2.88 goals as well. So 0 0.01. So 100th of a point better than us. All right. Let's take a look at the, I guess, maybe market. If there's anything out there they might want to do. If we could maybe try to get another forward, that'd be great to maybe help out our offense. But I'm fine with keeping the team the way it is. I think this team could potentially make the playoffs. We have a good second half of the year. So, yeah. I'll see what's out there in the market, though, for a forward. If not, uh, I can't find one. I'll just simulate it to the end of the season. And see you guys when some either have a move or at the end of the year. I'm going to try to do this deal with the Blues here. Two second rounders, Hanley and Clutterbuck for Jordan Cairo. Will I get the job done? It won't. What if I throw in another pick? Maybe I throw in another. I don't want to throw in another second. Maybe like a third in 2027. That might not be enough. Yeah, maybe. Okay, fine. Let's try a second rounder. Uh, I really don't want to have to throw in a first. Will that get the job done? It won't. All right, I'll throw in one first. If it doesn't get the job done, then we won't trade for him, and I think I might just keep team the way it is. Oh, that's definitely going to get the job done. I'll try to get a... Can I get a sixth rounder? Yeah, okay, that's fine. So I get a sixth rounder as well this season. That works for me. So yeah, Kairu, welcome to the squad. I feel like that's a solid upgrade there. Uh, another guy that can help us out, generate some more offense uh, at that uh, right winger spot. And basically, mainly for forwards. It really doesn't matter if it's right winger or left winger. Yeah, so I think that's going to be it. I'll see you guys at the end of the season where, you know, hopefully we're in the playoffs. All right, so we ended up making the playoffs with 96 points, and we're taking on the Lightning in the first round. That's a interesting matchup for us. But, uh, yeah, 96 points I think is what we ended up having, 45, 31, and 6. That is 96 points. The uh, Lightning were 47, 30, and 5. So they had 99 points. So, yeah, good season. Got to the playoffs in our first year. Uh, Barzell's got 81 points accounted for. So he was doing his thing out there, but then Brock Nelson, Lee, uh, Jordan uh, Cairo, uh, I guess, you know, helped out a little bit. A decent pick up there. Almieri. All right. Uh, let's look at the, you know, hits, block shots, giveaways, takeaways, see what we got going on over there. So, yeah, in terms of uh, hits, we had three, four, five, six, seven guys uh, have at least 100 hits. Nearly nine with Pulak and uh, Casey Sizikas. So he was pretty cool. Or pretty close. 96 for uh, Pulak. So he was cool there as well. Block shots, three guys had at least 100, which is nice to see. Giveaways, 85 for Mayfield. He led the team, which that's yeah, not something you want to lead in. However, takeaways, uh, Barzell obviously doing his thing out there. Uh, Jordan Cairo, who traded for 74, 63 for Josh Bailey, although he is scratched right now. So that's cool to see. Well, not, well, obviously I'm being sarcastic when I say cool to see. So you don't want to see that, right? Goalies were excellent. Sorokin was great. And Varmalov. Uh, Varlamov as a backup was really good. So, I have to say, impressive stuff indeed. Let's take a look at the team stats, see uh, how they performed, uh, you know, overall, how we did. I'd assume we were probably one of the better defensive teams in the league. Offensively, wasn't, I would say we weren't amazing. Probably going to be near the bottom half. 
terms of goal scoring. Eh, maybe closer to the bill. 2.95. I guess that's not awful. And 2.48 was number one. I mean, our goalies are great this season. So that's excellent. I mean, we could prevent teams from scoring if we score, you know, somewhat enough. We don't have a chance. The Lightning's a tough matchup. We're in the bottom right corner, in case you guys are curious to look at that. So let's uh, see how we fare against the Lightning. Uh, they're going to be a tough matchup, for sure. But, uh, yeah, we did lose to them. OT lost them there. We... Did we beat them at all this season? Just out of curiosity. Yeah, we did in the first game. Uh, well, first time we played them. I think we... Did we only play them three times? I think only three, right? Yeah. I don't see anywhere else we played them, so... Okay, let's see how we can fare against them. That's all that matters, right? Game one, we're going to sim through day, and we win 3-1, to one, so good start there to the series. Do we win game two? No, we lose 3-1 to one that time. All right, it's 1-1. One, one. Uh, game three, we lose an OT. That's a tough one to swallow. Game four, once again, lose an OT. All right, we're going to lose in five, I assume, right, EA? No, we win an OT this time. Okay, game six. Do I want to sim the game, or do I want to sim through date? I always sim through date. Yeah, we lost 5-4. I didn't want to watch that. I, I wasn't going to watch 5-4. Watch That's unfortunate. I mean, we had two OT losses. We had an OT win. One of our wins was an OT win. But, I mean, if one of these had went our way, who knows? Maybe a Game 7. But, yeah, solid series, season. Solid series. Six games. Uh, Barzo led the team uh, in terms of point generation with six. You're definitely going to need to work on our offense for sure. Got to get some guys that can help put the puck into the net. Because um, we don't really have enough of that. So that'll be something that we need to do. And then, yeah, in terms of the... Well, that was the playoff stats, right? So, yeah, it, that's that's something we need to do. Is we need to get we need to work on trying to get some guys that can help score. So our goal scoring wasn't incredible throughout this season. I mean, Andrews Lee led the team in goals with three in the playoffs. So... All right, we're going to simulate, see wins the Stanley Cup, look at the awards, and then go on from there. So the Flames ended up winning the Stanley Cup. Good for them. Uh, let's take a look at the awards on the season. Uh, okay, or not. Wow. Anybody jump up? Somebody jumped up. 15, 16, 14 to 15, 13 to 14. Yeah, Detroit jumped up to six. Good for Detroit. They need to jump up in something. Can we, like, stop simulating game or no? Is that just impossible? Oh, my gosh. I'm, like, trying to stop simulating so I can show you guys the awards. But I guess we're already at the draft, so I'll show you the awards and we'll go to the draft. My goodness, though. Like, I'm, I'm spamming the circle button. Okay, uh, well, are we going to have anybody? I would assume maybe we had one. Yeah, Sorokin. Oh, yeah, okay, he had two. He was the best goalie as well. Fused goals and also best goalkeeper. So the Vizina and the Jennings Trophy. So good stuff there from... Sorokin obviously did his thing out there, and uh, that's about it. So yeah, good job, good job. All right, let's uh, go to the draft, see what we end up doing with our pick. All right, I'm actually going to try to trade down here with the Oilers here, so I'm going to try throwing out this offer, pick 21, Paris, Moore, and uh, Ponic, uh, Ponic, so for a first and a third, because I don't really need any of these guys, they're expiring. So I'll move down and also get a third round pick. So yeah, we'll just take somebody at 27. I'm um, probably just not going to do anything in this draft. So, yeah, that works for me. Go with uh, Ted Zanata. We'll just take him at the, what is it, tw pick 27. So he'll be our first round pick. I don't know if he'll ever see the light of day in the NHL, but maybe could be a pretty solid uh, young trade piece maybe in the third and final season of this uh, video. So, yeah, uh, welcome to Team Zanata. So just in case you're curious, those are the other picks that we ended up getting. So... There we go. That's going to be it. Let's go to the re-sign phase. Uh, i got to re-sign Barzal, and I think that's maybe a few other guys that we need to qualify for. So, not sure how much money we're going to have. Um, yeah, we have some restricted guys. Cam York also. So yeah, re-sign phase. Let's take a look at that, see who is out there. We don't have a lot of money. Oh, no, Barzal's here. Oh, I thought I had to re-sign him. Why did I feel like I, I said he was expiring? Maybe I read the wrong thing. Okay, so nobody's expiring then, really. So, Wallstrom, York, qualify them. Uh, Mayfield, eh, maybe we resign him, maybe we don't. We'll see. And, um, yeah, I think goalie wise, uh, Varlamov. Yeah, we gotta resign him. Definitely gonna resign him. Um, 
And that would be about it. So I guess we'll just resign Varlamov and then qualify the guys who need to be qualified. So Varlamov wants to test, that's totally fine. Um, and I just basically offered a bunch of guys, qualifiers and contracts, young guys. So we'll just go to free agency, try to get Varlamov back and maybe try to add maybe, you know, a very cheap, so a couple cheap guys uh, on one year deals to fill out the team. There's, gonna be not, there's not gonna be many major changes through free agency. What kind of caps? We signed Semyon Varlamov back on the squad to be our backup goalie. And I have a little bit of money left over. I mean, obviously Walsh and York, like, I don't think they ended up accepting a qualifier. So we'll see what they end up deciding to do if they uh, accept or not accept. But uh, I do have a little bit of money to spare. Maybe try to sign a couple guys. Uh, what do I need per se? Let me look at the block. I think we need still need forwards. So if I look at my trade block, some wingers yeah we're at nine yeah we need to we actually just need yeah any kind of forward really centers wingers forward uh all that yeah wingers eight and eight i mean we're we're at the minimum amount but i'd like to get more guys back and some of those guys obviously like i said are qualifiers like wallstrom but i'm gonna see what's out there not gonna be expensive we'll kind of just round out the rest of this team and then that'll be pretty much it for the sec uh for the start of the second season I'll do this deal here with the Panthers. Getting up Ajo, a third and a sixth round pick. We have a second round pick and a fifth round pick. All right, so uh, Alex Formington wants... I offered him contract. He wants to come to our team. Will Ottawa match it? I assume they will. So we may not be able to get him. We'll see. They decided that they're not going to match it. So we do get Alex Formington. So welcome to team Alex. Cool. All right, I picked up Wayne Simmons. Just another depth right uh, forward, right winger, left winger. I offered a contract to Isaac Ratcliffe. Will the Flyers match? Let's find out. And they did. So we don't have... Picked up Frederick Karlstrom. So that's pretty much it. I think I might just let... Uh, if anybody needs to accept uh, qualifiers, we'll just accept them. If not, we'll do it at the start of the second season. I'm assuming the rest of the offseason. There's not going to be any, anything else worth noting. To start the second season, I'm still waiting on Wallstrom. I'd offer him a contract. We'll see if he accepts. If he doesn't, we'll, you know, we'll figure out what we want to do. But Barzol, Cairo... Uh, Pulak, uh, Pilek, uh, Dobson, Nelson, Romanov, uh, Kapanen, uh, Peugeot. Oh, you're saying it like that now. I'm going to say it like that for now. Peugeot. Uh, Lee, Bailey, uh, Palmieri, uh, Beauvillier, Formington, York, uh, we've got Salo, uh, Sizikas, uh, Cholowski, Holmstrom, Simmons, and that is pretty much it there. And then our goalies are still the same with Sorokin and Varlamov. Pretty solid. Uh, I did adjust the line slightly, so that way we have uh, at least one line with Kem on the offensive end. And basically, that was just moving Jordan Cairo to the second line and putting Palmieri on the first line. So our second line at least has plus one Kem, but that's about it. I don't know if that's gonna make too much of a difference. And then defensively, we have Kem here. But our def defense looked pretty solid and it was good last year, so. I don't think it has too much of an effect, but um, yeah, let's uh, see if Wallstrom comes back. He might fill in one of those lines on the offensive end, and just in, from a talent perspective, might be a little bit, uh, a little bit better. But uh, yeah, I expect us to maybe make the playoffs again. We'll see how this team does. I'm gonna simulate a bit and see if uh, you know Oliver Wallstrom accepts. If not, we'll kind of have to figure out what we want to do about him before December 1st. So I'll simulate a bit, and I'll see you guys once I have an update for you. All right, so 29, 27, 19, and 4. Um, kind of struggled a bit in the last part of the second half, uh, first half of the year. Four straight losses, five of our last six, and two of them were to the Blue Jacks. They ended up overtaking us, but only by one point. I mean, it's kind of uh, a mixed bag here. I mean, our, our division is pretty weak. It looks like Blue Jacks 59, 58 for us, 57 for the Hurricanes, 55 for the Capitals, 53 for the Penguins. I mean, so there's a lot of teams that are kind of battling out. Uh, even, like, you can even say the Flyers are still in it. I mean, they have 47 points, so uh, in terms, I guess, like, yeah, in terms of the bottom ranked team, I mean, 47, that's the most of the bottom teams. So I guess, I guess there's a little bit of balance. But uh, yeah, Matt Barzo leading the team in points, 51 accounted for. Which isn't too bad. 41 for Jordan Cairo. Uh, Nelson's got 29, 27 for Bailey. Okay. You definitely still think I need somebody that can put the puck in the goal. Uh, Casey scratched. A few injuries, I think, too. A few guys that are scratched. Uh, hits. We've got 101 for Anders Lee. Uh, 82 for uh, Kasperi. Uh, 80, 79 for Dobson. Adam's got 78. 
So, uh, block shots, Noah Dobson, 75, 73 for Adam. 66 for Cam York. Romanov's got uh, 60. Giveaways, we've got 50 for Romanov, Dobson. Uh, takeaways, leading the team. Jean Gabriel. I gotta not say it like that ever again. Uh, 38 each for him and uh, Barzo. And then Paley's got 37, 36 for Lee, Nelson, 35. How are goalies doing this year? Still really good. I mean, Sorokin, 2.53 goals against the average. And Varlamov, 1.92 in seven games. That's impressive in its own. So he's been great. Defense, again, defense is not our problem. We don't really let teams score too much against us, it looks like. So that's uh, something that's pretty good for us. I mean, 2.90 goals again, uh, goals four per game, though. It's not, not really incredible, right? Um, I mean, it's, it, it could be better. And I feel like it, it, if it was better, we'd be a little bit better than where we are. But, uh, yeah, 2.56 goals against is pretty good. Uh, third best in leagues. Yeah, you see how, like, the Avalanche, the Panthers, they're a little bit better at scoring, but even defending as well. But, like, a team like the Ducks, like, they're 3.49. Like, if we had that goal four per game or right around there, like, we'd be a pretty good team too. So... It's all good, though. Um, I, are there any moves I want to make? Probably not. I think I'm going to keep the team the way it is. I want to see uh, who is expiring, though, so I'll take a look at that myself. And maybe I decide to make a move if the if, if it's right. I mean, Wallstrom is hurt, so I could look to move him. Maybe try to get something for him in return. It is, if he's going to be injured, maybe try to get some value for him. Maybe that'd be in the, the value be in terms of picks. We could do that. Uh I'll see what's out there. Maybe just like another player. All right, I traded for a first and second round pick from the Lightning for Wallstrom, uh, two seconds and a third. Uh, I, Wallstrom being hurt, maybe we just, he scratched. And he's also wanting probably a decent amount of money. Don't know if I was gonna be able to keep him around. So yeah, Wallstrom, and so unfortunately you are off the team. I'm actually curious, I've never done this before. Let's see if there's any free agents out there that maybe we could pick up for this season. I highly doubt it. Uh, anybody that could really afford it. Does anybody good? Uh, yeah, that's another thing, too. I mean... McEwen, can I offer him a contract? Zach McEwen. We'll see if he accepts it. I mean, that's not awful. Kind of just to fill in. But yeah, I mean, if we pick him up, that's kind of cool. If not, no worries. Uh, we have another pick, but it's a 2025 first rounder. We have a second rounder in 2024. So maybe we could use that to move up in the draft in this year's draft. Because usually, like I said, the auto-generated rookies are good. So uh, let's keep simulating and see how the team does. And we'll go from there. All right, so we ended up making the playoffs 43, 33, and 6. How many points do we have? 92? Yeah, that's really weak. Dang. Uh, 92 points, not a lot at all. Uh, we kind of slipped a bit in the rankings, but still made the playoffs. Some of the day, who we take on, I'm assuming it's, yeah, I was about to say it's Washington. So at the you know, standings and stuff. I feel like we played pretty well against them throughout the season. So yeah, but let's take a look to see who did well in the playoffs and who didn't, or not playoffs, regular season. So Barzo obviously led the team at 85 points. Uh, Gordon Kairou, 70. Uh, Lee missed six games. Nelson scratched. What else is new? Um, Dobson was good. When, we were good when Dobson was on the ice. So that's good to see. Uh, let's take a look at the hits, block shots, giveaways, and takeaways. So, in terms of hits, block shots, giveaways, and takeaways, let's see, leader there, I mean, Anders Lee, 159 hits. I think he had, like, over 100, like, when we were in January, so that was pretty crazy. Noah Dobson with 138, 122 for Romanov. So, we had about uh, seven guys with a 100 hits, at least 100 hits, in the triple digits. Adam Pleck, uh, 115 block shots, 140 for Noah Dobson, so they were really good. Romanov with 97. Uh, giveaways, Dobson led there, and then Romanov with 66. That's not too great. Brock Nelson, takeaway 62. Then Cairo's got 61, 60 for Barzal. They, they, they've got oh, at least 60. How are our goalies did? Uh, not too bad for Sorokin. Not as good as last season, but still pretty solid. And Varlamov was pretty good as well as a backup. So that's great. That's what you like to see. Good record, too. So in terms of team stats, where were we? In the entire league, we were at... In terms of goals for per game, uh, the Devils made it. Dallas made it. We were right around here. 2.88. 2.73 goals against. Not too bad. Top five in the league. All right. Got the Capitals. 
We've got the Capitals in the playoffs in the first round. Let's just take a look and see how we did against them. Not that it really matters too much, right? But uh, two straight teams make the playoffs. That's cool. Uh, Capitals, how do we fare against them? OT win. Win, win. Loss in preseason. And loss at... Yeah, two losses. Shootout losses. So if I had to predict... I mean, you already guys, you guys already know what I'm going to predict. All right, game one, we lose four to one. Okay, game two, we lose five to two. Okay, so we're not going to win, not going to win a single game, right? Yeah, we're going to get swept. I, I, it's a joke. Okay, we didn't get swept. Let's go. We didn't get swept. You know what? Watch the game. Watch the game. Maybe, 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 the, maybe I'll be. Maybe, maybe I sim the game. And we watch and see how the team does. Maybe that's what we need to do. Got a power play. Five on three power play. Five on four power play. Couldn't score. Couldn't score. Three shots so far. They have a power play. Of course, they're going to score when they have a power play. And, but we get a pair back. Formington. Nice. Very nice. 1-1. Uh, one, one. And Ovechkin scores. 2-1. All right. Okay. It's like we can't hold the lead for that long, huh? All right, period two. That's what I like to see, Kasperi. Nice. But, go to spare. Gets it right back. 3-2. Can't hold the lead for that long, huh? Or even just, like, a tie game. Score right away. And then, like, after, after they score, we can't score right away unless the game is already over. Then it doesn't matter, right, EA? It just just pile it on. We're gonna lose in six, uh, five. We're gonna lose in five. I mean, this is kind of what I, you know, was expecting. Yep. Okay, yeah, get a goal when we're already down three, four, technically. And that's it. Okay, six three. Fantastic. All right, we got one more year. I got to get guys that could score. It's just, they have guys that could score, and we also couldn't play defense. I guess we just decided that we were a terrible defensive team now in the playoffs. I'm going to assume also we had some guys that were scratched. It's only, that's the only other option I could think of because there's no way we were that bad uh, defensively. Like, there's just no way that we had the worst, second worst offense and the worst defense in the entire playoffs but i guess that is possible right uh let's take a look at the player stats i mean nelson missed a game we know that lee only played one game so i mean okay i guess we were missing two guys that are kind of important to us goalie wise i mean sir was only gonna play he was awful absolutely awful in the playoffs all right, let's just see who wins the Stanley Cup, go on to the third and final season, uh, which basically entails the offseason first. So we really got to get somebody that could score. Boston Bruins won the Stanley Cup. Good for them. Uh, let's try to stop the award. There we go. I wanted to see the awards, EA. Appreciate it. Now I press the circle button and it works. Um, yeah, I guess the... Yeah, Bruins are the best team. When I'm the best team, we lose in the first round. When anybody else is the best team, they win the Stanley Cup. Uh, most of the time. Uh, any Islanders here? No. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Not a problem. We got to do something in this third and final season, whether that be trying to draft a really good rookie or trying to trade our picks, try to get a superstar. Maybe we do that instead of going through the draft. I want to get somebody that can help us out. Okay. So Austin Matthews trade value is very low because he's going to be a free agent. I'm going to try to trade for him and then re-sign him. And it's gonna work so that's i know he's a free agent hear me out here we've got him on the team i'm re-signing him i am 1000 percent going to do everything in my power to re-sign him on this team otherwise you know i'm going all in i'm going all in right now try to trade for sharangovich from the blues for palmieri uh Sizikas, and then a second round pick will that get the job done it won't but what about if i throw in another pick here call it i don't know two i'll throw in a fourth rounder in fact i'll make it two fourth rounders because i'm such a nice guy and that's not gonna work all right 
Uh, instead of that, how about a third rounder in 2026? No? Okay, how about... I'm just trying to... Really, this is also to clear cap cap room as well because I want to, like I said, be able to sign Austin Matthews. How about a second... How about a first round... You know what? First round pick in 2029. I don't even care. That's going to get the job done, surely. Yeah, thanks. I don't even care. That's fine. Works for me. Plus, he's a good player. All right, I traded up with the Sharks. I traded away Ross Johnston and a seventh round pick to move up a little bit in the seventh round. I really just did that to shed some money. A first round pick to the Dallas Stars for Lundqvist. I wanted to get another defenseman. And he can play both positions. And he might be a restricted free agent. I think I can qualify him, but that's totally fine. All right, so not didn't really care much about the draft. I did very late picks. I'm going to go to free agency, re-sign phase. And, okay, we have a lot of money here. Okay, Sarangovich, I have to re-sign. That's totally fine. Austin Matthews, I'm giving him a contract. I don't care what it is. I'll even overpay. Don't care. Do you want... I'll give you 13.6 million. I'm overpaying for you. I don't care. You need to stay on the team. Drangovic will qualify him just because I can. Uh, confident I'll offer him a contract too. We'll give him 2.4. I can I can give him less, I think. And then, yeah, we'll just qualify these guys like Cam York, uh, Lundqvist, uh, Salo, uh, Jalowski, Holmstrom, uh... Old duck. Yeah, so all these guys I'm just going to give qualifiers to. And yeah, I'll see you guys uh, once I have some offers on the table. Okay, I had to re-sign my goalies as well. So Varlamov accepted a very cheap offer. Beautiful. And so did Sorokin. So we got him back. Zach Guin, I offered him. Uh, Kasperi declined. Okay. If I lose him, then I'm going to be pissed. I'm overpaying for him. I don't care how much money it takes. Oh, boy. Okay, that's our main priority is to re-sign Matthews because I just traded for him. Otherwise, I'm going to look like an idiot for trading him. Oh, God. Okay, I'll see you guys at free agency. I, 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 I re-signed him. I re-signed Austin Matthews. I accidentally skipped an advance today, but we did re-sign him. I, I did, overpaid. I overpaid, but I don't care. I needed to make sure that I kept him on the team. So he's here. We still have a little bit of money to play with. I, it's going to be mainly guys we just have to try to re-sign, I think. But uh, we do have Austin Matthews. I know we have Barzal, but I guess one of those guys, it, it, it'll help us. Our, it'll help our lines because I, I need somebody that can just score. Like, I need somebody that helps us out on offense, and Austin Matthews puts the puck in the goal. So, it's fantastic. Resigned Sarangovich as well, so welcome back, Eeyore, after our trading for you. All right, so third and final season. Let me show you guys the roster that we have here. So, we have Austin Matthews, Matthew Barzal. We got uh, Cairo, Pulak, Palak. Sharangovich, Dobson, Nelson, Romanov, Hajo, Formington, Lee, uh, Chalowski, Holmstrom, Bulldog, McEwen, uh, Koivula, uh, Karlstrom, and then, oh, we have our rookie up here, Zanata, and then Wolderspoon. So our rookie is, is up here. I mean, we, you guys can see we don't have a very deep team. And now some of our guys are still in qualifiers, so that's, that's why. But if I do need to make a move, if they don't sign, we're, we have we have the capabilities to make it a big move by throwing a contract in there. I'm trying to get some players. I also still have some picks. So if there's any like cheap guys out there that we can get, we can also get them too if some of our guys don't uh, end up re-signing. Uh, but I did offer qualifiers to everybody. Or some of our guys like... Did I say Nikita Lundquist? But I don't know if I did if I said, if I said Lundquist before Nikita. But I meant Nils. I don't think I said... I think I just said Lundquist. But if I did say Nikita, I meant to say Nils. Uh, anyways, that's not important. What's important is to take a look at these lines. So, obviously, the second line is the only one that has Cam, but it just looks better with having Austin Matthews here on the team. So, that's that should help us out. And then defensively, still look pretty solid. Obviously, still have the same goalies, if in case you're curious. Uh, Resign, Sorokin, Barlamov. Um, so, hopefully, they could be good. I mean, they were good in the first season. Hopefully, that that's I want to see them be like that, in the, in, like they were in the first season. So, hopefully, we sign a couple of those guys. See if they end up staying on the team. If they accept the offers. They may not accept the contracts, and if they don't, and I offer them again, they still don't. Then I might just have to uh, explore some options in the market. But uh, I I feel like this team should be pretty talented enough to still make the playoffs regardless. But I guess only time will tell. So I'll simulate a bit. See you guys once I have an update for you. All right, I'm going to see if the Ducks end up doing this deal. I really need another defenseman. Mintyukov can be a pretty solid pickup here. Will they do this deal? I'm, uh, Lundqvist and Solid didn't accept. Two first-rounders, Zanata, 
these guys just throw ins will they do it they won't that's annoying okay <clears throat> i'm gonna have to find a different trade all right will the sharks do this for Bates? Bates, like this was like a rookie that they took and they don't want to do that what all right i'm gonna switch out Bates for eckland maybe they'll do eckland uh instead so let's see eckland 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 where is eckland i don't even know where he is uh we'll trade value trade value trade value instead of Bates, how about eckland they might do this deal and they do okay so we get eckland okay that works for me i'll see you guys hopefully this team kind of turn it around at the uh end of january We're sitting at 27 19 and 3 which isn't bad uh 57 points uh, the Rangers at 59, 64 for the Capitals. Blue Jackets have 66, but we're still playing okay. I wonder if it's the, if our offense. I feel like our offense is definitely better this season. Uh, Austin Matthews has 25 goals, 23 assists. He's got 48 points accounted for. Uh, point total within Barzal. He's got 40. Uh, Pajot's got 37. Okay, that's not too bad. I feel like offensively we're better. I definitely think our goals for per game is increased. I, I for some reason I have this weird feeling that were not that good defensively. Uh, Sharangovich is leading the team with 86 hits, 84 for Noah Dobson. Osman's got 82, 80 for Nelson. Block shots, we've got 67 for Sam Bulldog. Uh, 60 for Romanov. Dobson, 61. In terms of giveaways, you guys can see the leaders there. You don't want to be leading giveaways, but takeaways, however, you do want to be leading. And Alton Matthews has 79, 65 for Barzol, and then it kind of dips after that. So yeah, goalie-wise, yeah, a little bit of a dip. I mean, Sorokin's still okay, so is Varlamov, but not as good as they were in, like, their first season. Like, they were lights out. We were the best defensive team, one of the best defensive teams. Although, where did that get us? First round of the playoffs, right? So, didn't really matter too much, right? Uh, in terms of the team stats, yeah, let's look and see where, we're, where we are. Uh, yeah, we're scoring at a much higher clip. 3.20 goals for per game. That's going to be near the top, I assume. And, um... It's actually not as high as I thought it would. There's a lot of goal teams that are scoring a lot better than we are. Uh, and we're at 2.78 goals against. And that's uh, also near the top. So it's not too bad. Okay, fair enough. Team's doing pretty well. Let's continue it. I can't really make any of the moves. We're pretty much the cap. So I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully we can keep this up. All right, so we ended up making the playoffs 98 points. And we're taking the Lightning in the first round. So I think we took them on last season in the first round. If I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, so they were 45, 29. We were 45, 29, and 8. So, very close in terms of point totals uh, for the season. So, yeah, Austin Matthews, 89 points accounted for. 55 goals. That's the guy we needed. We needed a guy that could score goals. And he's the kind of guy that could score goals. Matthew Barzell's got 72, 69 for Kyrie. Can't seem to afford that number, uh, unfortunately. Anytime we play this game, or just any game in general. Uh, how about hit block shots, giveaways, takeaways? What do we got going on over here? I see we've got eight guys with at least 100 hits. That's pretty solid. How about Zach from Gillen? Nice, not bad from him for a guy that's on a minimum contract. Uh, in terms of block shots, three guys at least had 100. So that's good to see. Giveaway wise, you can see who leads there. Um, you know, again. Uh, like in Bulldog leading the team and then takeaways Matthews and Barzil really good man Barzil's still doing his thing out there I can't can't complain glad we have two really good centers manning our lines kind of curious to see what the lines are looking like in the playoffs I'll take a look at those really quickly in case I want to make any adjustments but yeah we're able to slip in 98 points I'll have to look at the east uh entire well, we'll look at the entire league just to see where we were in terms of goals for goals against yeah I'm near the top in terms of scoring this time around top five and yeah, 2.87 goals against. It's near the top. Not the best, but still near the top. And yeah, I didn't look at goalie stats, so we'll go back to that in just a moment right now. See how they did. I would imagine you saw the stats. So they were okay, I would assume. Yeah, 2.80, 2.4, 2.74. Not bad records. All right, yeah, not too bad. Not as good as the first season, but still solid nevertheless. Here's your playoff tree. You can pause and take a look. We're in the bottom right corner. And yeah, I just want to see the lines really quick. So I'm, I'm kind of curious to see um, the fits. I'm hoping that, you know, Coach is doing his thing out there. Okay, now that's probably about what I would have, honestly. There's really not much you could do to switch these to improve the chem. 
kind of just going to be the way it is, so that's totally fine here. Yeah, no, nah, there's really not much you could do. I mean, Kairu, nope. Yeah, this is it. So, defensively, same thing, I assume. Yeah, pretty much. All right, let's uh, see how we fare against the Lightning. Game one, underway. How are we going to fare against them? We win an OT. Nice. That's huge. We win game two. We do an OT. So we're up 2-0. It's a good start. Shut him out. 3-0. Let's sweep him. Okay. Let's win in five. Yes. All right. Second round of the playoffs. Let's go. I'll take it. And it is going to be against the Panthers. So another Florida team. Uh, they had a six-game series, so let's see how we can fare against them. I don't know how good they were. Were they good? They were 48-32-2. and two. Yeah, they're pretty good, right? 48-32-2. That's 98 points. Oh, they had the same amount of points we did. Okay. All right, game one. Game one against the Panthers, we lose 4-1. to Okay, game two. We win an OT. Nice. Can we win game three? We do. Game four? Lose an OT. 7-6. Oh, my gosh. Game five. This is a big one. And we lose. All right. Game six. Got to watch it. Boy, boy, boy. Sim game. Here we go. Let's uh, watch the Islanders at work. This is where Austin Matthews needs to shine. I'm watching you. Okay, Romanov shines, 1-0, nice, like to see that, they have a power play though, they don't convert, nice, defense has been pretty good so far through this first period, as we don't let the Panthers get on the board, very sweet, so 1-0, period number 2, let's see if we can get another goal, that'd be great, we can't, it is still 1-0, I'd like to score here. Not looking like it's going to happen, though. But it does! As I say it, Formington gets a goal. That's huge. Insurance goal. And Barzil getting the goal. 3-0. Love to see it. This could force a game 7 here. Assuming we don't give up 3 goals. Okay. Ekblad gets a goal. Okay. Ekblad gets a goal. Don't like that. 3-1. Okay, Dobson gets it back, though. Beautiful, Dobson. And Barzil gets another goal. It's 5-1. We got this one in the books. Got this one in the books, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to a Game 7. We are going to a Game 7. Got to watch it. Got to watch it. Dude, Barzil has been... Okay. I see you, man. You're a little upset. All right. Game 7. Sim to the day. We got to watch this one, too. Eklund was hurt. We're getting him back. That's huge. All right. Sim game. Here we go. Let's uh, see how we fare. I, don't, I think we're... They're the home team, right? I assume. All right, here we go. Doesn't really matter. Uh, there we go. That's the kind of guy we got right there. Matthews gets our first goal. It is 1-0 us. Uh, Barkov not, not going out easy, though. 1-1. One, one. This is a game seven, so... You know me in game sevens. We don't usually do well in them. We usually lose them. Every time. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Not every time, but majority of the time I lose in my game sevens. Hopefully today's not the day. Please don't be tied, and then I have to close my eyes and then look at me lose. That's what I just don't want to see. That's what I like to see, though. And then, of course, they get a goal right back, though. <laughs> in 21 seconds, they just score right away. It's like, we can't, can't hold a friggin' lead. Ah. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. 2-2, two, two. going into the third period. Please, guys, game seven. We need, oh, five on three power play. That is why we got him. Let's go. Matthews gets a goal right there. Clutch in game seven. Please don't give up a goal. Please don't give up a goal. Let's go. We are going to the conference finals. We are going to the conference finals. Who are we taking on, by the way? I already saw who won. I just don't know who it was. It is the Capitals. 
Okay. In the conference finals, we are taking on the Washington Capitals. How are they this season? Were they good? They were very good. Uh, 108 points. 109 points. I can't count. All right. Game one. We win two to one. Good start. Game two. We win three to two. Can we win game three? No. Can we win game four? No. Can we win game five? Yes. Can we win game six? Game seven. Another game seven. <sighs> we need to win that game. I wish we won that game six. Okay. If we win, we take on the Golden Knights in the Stanley Cup. If we lose, it's a heartbreaking loss. Good run though. This is a good run. This is the this is the kind of run that we want right here. So Game seven. Sim in the game. How are we gonna fare against the Capitals? Let's see how we do. I'm pretty sure we're the we should be the away team, right? Yeah, I think. So I don't know if the side matters uh, in the simulation. Or maybe it does. Maybe that's the home side. Uh which is interesting. Usually I would I think it would be that side. Okay, no goals in the first period. Not exciting whatsoever. Uh, we got a power play. Can we score? It's why we got you, man. This is why we got him. Austin Matthews, one nothing. Let's go. This is why we got you. This is why we have you on the team. One not. Ah, I don't like that. Yeah, I knew that. I knew it was gonna happen. Power play goal. Oh, he didn't get a power play goal. Is it just a goal? Okay, 1-1. One, 1-1, one. One, one, third period. Not a lot of scoring. Oh, man, I, I, I would like to score here. For, if, if we're the Islanders, if we could score here, it'd be great. Don't go to OT. Don't lose either. Oh, we're going to OT. Okay. Okay. I'm closing my eyes. I can't look. I can't look. All right. I'm, well, I'm not looking at the score. I already know what's going to happen. It's going to be OT loss. That's my prediction. So here we go. I'm not even going to look. I'm just going to look at the bottom of the screen. See how quick it is. Okay. I don't know what it is. You guys know I don't know what it is. Did we win the game? Moment of truth. Fucking Sharangovich, Sharangovich, let's fucking go. I traded for this guy, and he comes up clutch. Let's go. Let's go, Igor. Let's friggin' go. We are in the Stanley Cup. We are in the Stanley Cup to take on the Vegas Golden Knights. Wow. Is this our seat? Is this our year? Is this our year? I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it is. I'm not gonna say it is. But ooh, this team is looking pretty good though in the playoffs. Vegas Golden Knights, 41, 29, 12. They had, what, 94 points? They've had a good run. They have a good team. Right, here we go. I'm back. So, we've got the Golden Knights in the Stanley Cup. How are we going to fare against them? Game one, we lose an OT. Okay. Not going to be easy. Game two, we win 6 0. Shut them out. Game three, we win. Can we win game four? No. Game five. We get the W. Can we? Oh, we gotta, you know what? We gotta sim this. We gotta sim both games, right? Surely we gotta sim both games. We gotta sim both. <sighs> Come on. Don't be a seven. I forgot who I lost a seven to. I think it was the Flyers that lost. I lost in seven with. Okay, Kopitar gets a goal. Great start. For them, at least. Okay. Awesome Matthews. This is why we got you, baby. One nothing right now. Two nothing. Okay. Our salt. Looks like this is gonna be going to a game seven. Uh, I think this is going to a game seven. I should have just said I just should just sit in this game and then go to the game seven. Oh yeah, this is no this is over. This is over. This is over. I don't even want to watch the rest of this game. This is over. Okay, wait, no, 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 Austin Matthews. All right, Eklund, all right. Okay, maybe it's not over. Maybe it's not over. I spoke too soon. 
Okay, 3-2. We're back in it. We're back in it. If we get another goal here, I, I'm going to... I don't even know what I'm going to do. Well, okay. Well, it's like you don't want me to give me... You don't want to give me hope. Okay, you do want to give me hope. <laughs> Dude, this is like... Oh, my gosh. No, they don't want to give me hope. They don't. They don't want to give me hope. They don't. They gave me hope for a little bit. Ah, oh, God dang it. Okay, 5-3. We're going to a game seven. We are going to a game seven. Well, you're not even now. We're going to a game seven. No Dobson's hurt. I just got the message. Will he heal by the time we get to this game? No. Game seven. Why are we losing locker room chemistry? Okay, Austin Matthews, 39 points. Okay. Whew. Game seven. We've won two straight game sevens. There are times to chime right here. Sim game. This is where... This is our moment, Islanders. We gotta get the W here. Please. Please get the W. Please get the W. McNabb, really? Okay. Power play, we can't score. All right, cool. Not liking this, not liking this start. One nothing. I mean, still plenty of time. Still plenty of time. One nothing. Let's get a goal. Formington, nice. One one. Let's not give it up right away. That's that's why we got you. That's why we got you, Austin Matthews. Two one, baby. One period. One period of good hockey is all I need from us. Good. 3-1. Good insurance goal. Pull off. Good, good insurance goal. It's 3-1. Not what I needed. Not what I needed. Not what I needed. Don't give him another one. Please, Sorokin, do not give him another one. Just hold them. Hold them. Are we going to win the Stanley Cup? Please. That is why we got you. I don't care that they got another goal. That is why we got Austin Matthews, ladies and gentlemen. That is why we got him. That is what we do. Ladies and gentlemen, we won the Stanley Cup in seven. Thank you very much, Austin Matthews. Absolutely. You're the reason we won. <laughs> you are the reason we won the Stanley Cup. Right, let's just see the playoff stats. Like this guy, this guy, man, what an absolute treat it was to watch you in the playoffs. I mean, let me say, listen, Barzo was good. I mean, he was minus seven on the ice. But he was good. Eklund had some moments. Formington. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sarangovich. Mm-hmm. You had your goal. You had your goal. We saw your goal. But Austin Matthews, my goodness gracious. Dude was absolutely playing his heart out there. And he gets the Stanley Cup for it. Well, let's see who won the let's see the awards. Obviously, you guys saw we won the Stanley Cup, so I guess we'll just simulate a few days and then look at the awards for the season and close up the video, right? So let's do that right now. So I'll simulate a few days. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yep, we won the Stanley Cup. You know that. And Noah Dobson's back. Fantastic. We almost blew the game though, by the way, with like one second. They did get a goal. Ooh, very close, but fantastic though. Fantastic. We got we got the Stanley Cup. That's all that matters. Um, and we also beat the best team in the NHL. Wait, they were the presidents. Yeah, we beat them. Beat them in seven. Uh, individual awards. Uh, Ovechkin got a bunch. Surely, we're gonna, well, we're gonna definitely going to have one of them, obviously. Austin Matthews, the Con, the con Award. Um, and that's it. That's really all we had, huh? I don't know how we didn't get like a Jack Adams award. All right, either way, Austin Matthews, you, you won, you won, you won the most important, important trophy right here. So, fantastic, and we won the Stanley Cup. So, full screen time. Guys, well that's gonna be it for me. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, let me know down in the comments what's more video did. Go to social down in the description, playlist down below for other NHL 23 franchise content. Also check out my channel for Copy TJP. Go to second channel down below the description. We got one more Western Conference team that I think didn't make the playoffs. Then we got all the playoff teams after, so that should be fun. And, yeah, I'm going to head on out. Take care, everybody. See you soon. Peace.